Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. Oh, the Kranwagen. Where to start with this tank? I mean, I loved, loved this tank, but, well, not anymore. In fact, you know, I, I, what can I say about this tank? I mean, this tank is, well, a shadow of its former self. Wargaming tinkered with it. And, you know, I think it was a tinker too far. Yes, admittedly, it was at the time a staple of the tournament scene and a lot of people were dominating in it. But that didn't give it, you know, the right to go and tinker with it as much as they did. Now, they tinkered with this one at the same time they tinkered with the IS-4 and E5. But this one suffered the most. And in my opinion, and... I agree, most of you may not share my opinion. This is now, by far, the worst tier 10 heavy. If not the worst tier 10 tank. And that's a shame, because when it first came in, it had so much promise. It was a beautiful little tank. Now, that doesn't mean to say you still can't have fun with this thing, but... You're gonna ha you're gonna have more frustrating games than you are fun games, okay? Now look, if you're a super duper unicorn, the chances are you're still gonna roll out in this thing and have a bit of fun. But for majority of the player base, they are really gonna struggle with this tank and struggle to 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 a large a large degree. And why is that? Well, for that we need to jump into Blitz Stars. So here we are in Blitz Stars, and as you can see, I've, even sh I've, I've shoved you know, various different tanks in there from, you know, I've got the Kranwagen, the Progetto 65, which is a medium tank, the 60TP, the Mouse, the Sheridan, which is a light, the TVP 5051, which again is a medium, the FV 4202, which also is a medium, and just for good measure, the IS-8. And you can see straight away, the DPM is just terrible. I mean, 1,911, by far the worst DPM for a tank in its class and in its tier. I mean, even the mouse has got better DPM, <laughs> and the mouse is a big lumbering super heavy. You know, the 60TP's got better DPM. I mean, even the IS-8, which is notoriously like a terrible tank, <laughs> has got better DPM. So, you know, we've got, a pro we've got a DPM problem here with the Kranwagen. You can see there, pro the Progetto 65, which is another auto-reloader, has even got better DPM. So, what is going on here? Well, what's going on is the load times. So, it takes 11 and a half seconds, it, it takes over just over 11 seconds for the first shell. Just over, just under nine seconds for the second shell, and just over nine seconds for the third shell. Now compare that to the Progetto. You know, you've got seven and a half seconds, six, just over six seconds, and then just under five seconds for its shells to, to load. So automatically, the Kranwagen is on the back foot. But don't forget, this is a heavy tank, you know. So it's got a long reload. It doesn't dish out massive amounts of damage, Okay, it's better than the Progetto, but don't forget the Progetto is a medium tank. The same as the TVP and the FV. They're medium tanks. Now go all the way to the end and look at the Tier 9 IS-8. I mean, that's got better. Everything. You know, and it's a Tier 9. And this is the poor, poor, poor thing about this poor old tank. But what really lets this tank down is the nerf that it's got. Its mobility now really sucks, okay. Not only that, but its DPM is just, wow, 1,900 is just terrible. Terrible DPM for a tier nine heavy. And since Wargaming tinkered with that, if you look here, since they tinkered with its mobility, it is just shocking. 30 kilometers it goes going forward, but that's not the issue it's got. The issue it's got is its terrain resistance and its traverse. They have completely killed its traverse. And only the only the there is a tank that beats it, as you can see there, and that is the 60TP. But the 60TP is a super heavy, and the 60TP is knocking out 600 damage, you know, and it's got 
really stonking armour. So, aside from that, he, this is a terrible tank in it. I, I, like I said, I would argue it is the worst in its tier. And I'm not the only one to think that. I mean, if we keep going down, look at the win rates here. The win rate is 51%. That is terrible for a tier 10. 49% for the ISA, and that's notoriously a bad tank. And look at the average damage. The average damage is just churning out 2,000. 2,000. I mean, that is not good for a tier 10 heavy tank. And therein lies the problem. They've nerfed it to oblivion. To the extent this tank is just not the tank it used to be. And a lot of people are going to struggle in this tank. And no doubt a lot of people do struggle in this tank. But let's, before we get into that, let's have a look at its armor profile. And then I'm going to look at some equipment. And then we're going to see some games. Here we have the Crown Wagon facing off against an E100. And as you can see, its hull is pretty bad. In fact, just below the gun, it's pretty bad as well. I mean, that's just below the gun, and you've got an 89% chance of hitting that. You've also got chances of hitting these cupolas, and with the new aiming system, I'm finding that a lot. I mean, admittedly, it's got decent gun depression, um, to be honest with you. It's got nine degrees, so nine times out of 10, you should be looking at this tank like this. So the only thing that's really gonna be showing are these, and that's, that's, that's a pretty good shot, although nowadays you may think not. The hull itself is pretty bad. It, it, it's not great. It is not great. And if you know, if you are silly enough to stick that hull out in the open, you're just going to get absolutely obliterated. Can it side scrape? Well, no, not really. Because again, you know, depending on which way you're side scraping, you're still going to be able to pen this. They, they never touched the armor, to be fair. But, and it was always a good tank in a haul down capacity but the problem that it's got now it's just being obliterated on its mobility and the dpm is just terrible and that doesn't help it really doesn't help the cause of this tank as i said i've been playing the crown wagon a little bit and i used to love this tank it was like, like one of my favorite tanks and i've been trying to find workarounds to its terrible mobility and its terrible dpm so what I've been doing, I've been playing with the equipment. Now I would normally have calibrated shells in the crown wagon because you know it did suffer a little bit from penetration, 258, but that's not too bad. So what I'm doing now in order to try and get the tank to a manageable position is I'm using improved ventilation. I'm not interested about the view range, but I'm interested about that DPM. So the DPM shoots up, it was 1,900, it's now shot up to 2,020. That means the auto reload time has, has, has got better, and so is the aim time. And this is the thing, this is why I'm running this instead of these. Because whilst this gives me better penetration, it doesn't actually allow me to play the tank that effectively. I can live with the penetration, it just means you have to play better shots. So the ventilation, I've had to change. I've kept the defense system. I've kept the enhanced gun laying device. Now, I would normally have engine accelerator, but what I've done, I've gone for improved control because it gives me a better haul turn rate, okay? And that's what I need because they nerfed it. They nerfed the, the turn of the turret. So I'm putting in improved control to give me just that little bit more. So that's why I'm playing the Clan Wagen at the moment. So let's, let's jump into a game and let's see how it works out and what all the fuss is about. Here we are on Canal. Now, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. This is a, a terrible game, but I wanted to show you something. I wanted to show you how far the Clan Wagen has fallen from its glorious perch because this game highlights that. It doesn't have, as I said, the mobility anymore, and it certainly doesn't have the DPM that it should have. In 1900, it's just pants. And there's not much you can really do about that. And this is with me running previous equipment. This is with calibrated shells and stuff like that. And we don't set the world on fire at all in this game. In fact, we, we have a terrible game. It is a terrible, terrible game. And you'll see what I'm getting at. So 
they're not going to push forward, so I'm going to push through there. There's a 183, and I just got smacked by something else, and then the 183 is going to smack me. And because my hall is so open, you know, every man and his dog is going to pen me. But, but, I got assistance damage there, which is nice, and I, I did 300 damage, which is also nice. Now, the thing about this tank is, I mean, look at the mobility on it, it's just shocking. It is truly shocking. You just can't go anywhere quickly. And this isn't a super heavy, it's just a heavy, you know. It, 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 it hasn't got the capability of being a super heavy. It really hasn't. And it's unbelievably slow. Now, we've done 1,548 damage, and that's all the damage we're going to do in this game. Okay, so when we get to the end, you'll see what I'm trying to get at, because we do low damage. Um, we haven't bounced anything. We've taken one kit also, you know, that's nice. And we did a little bit of assistance damage, and that's it. Yet, am I going to get a medal? Yes, I do. I get a third class for this game. That goes to show how bad the tank now is. If a game like of this mediocrity can get a third class, then it means that a lot of people are playing this game very, very this tank very, very badly. And they're really struggling in it. And they're struggling in it because Wargaming has seriously nerfed it to oblivion. But what absolutely needs to be done to, to bring this tank back into balance? I mean, there is the ultimate question. And, uh, you know, I've been scratching my head on this one. What needs to be done? Well, for all intents and purposes, the DPM needs to increase. Now, most tier 10s, in fact, virtually all, every tier 10 is knocking out, not to, you know, 2,000 plus DPM. And this one's knocking just over 1,900. So that's the thing that Wargaming need to concentrate on. Fine, keep the hall turn. Fine, keep the turret turn. That was the nerf. Keep it as it is. Just increase its DPM. Give it a fighting chance. I mean, because, you know, just look at that. 1,500 damage, 1,800 damage assist. And I get a third class. A third class. I got that because of the damage assist. Because I was tuning with every good name is taken. And he smacked the 183. I mean, that, that's just ridiculously awful. That should never even be a third class. But it is because the tank is so bad. That, you know, it's easy to get a third class nowadays on this tank. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's still a great ridgeline fighter. It's still a great little tank in that respect. It's still got stonking frontal armor on its turret. You know, and it's still got decent gun depression, but it really does need that DPM increased. And when every other tank in the tier is churning out over 2,000, and this one is almost 1,000, is, is 100 less than that, then there is a problem. And it, that problem needs to be solved. So my recommendation is Wargaming you do need to look at the DPM on this poor little tank because it's just not competitive enough in its tier anymore. Now, some of you may argue with that. Some of you may turn around and say, ah, but, you know, if you're a good player, then it's... It, it, okay, fine, great. Now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not the best player in Blitz. First to admit that, I'm not a fantastic player. But, 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 you know, not every one of us out there is a super duper unicum. You know, we, we, we like to play the tanks, we like to do what we can do. And this one is harder to play than the FV4202, a tank that is notoriously difficult to play because everybody doesn't, because most players don't know how to use the hash. This one is just notorious. This one's like so tough to play, it really, really is. And it struggles a lot, and it's struggling because of that DPM. I mean, the reload times are just absolutely maddening. And if you don't have, if you don't wait for three shells, then you really are going to have a hard time. Now, I, I screw up here completely. Um, I go over the ridge, and I shouldn't have gone over the ridge. I was expecting my team to push round, but they, they didn't. Um, and I just get caught out. Okay, I do 2,000 damage, but that's not the point, is it? I mean... I get blown to smithereens because every man and his dog can bang you. I mean, what type of heavy tank is this? With its low alpha damage, its its terrible mobility, and, and stuff like that. 
it's it's just non-competitive nowadays. But as I said, that's not to say you still can't have a good gaming it because you still can. And you know, I mean, we do just over two thousand there, and we still get a third class. It just goes to show how low that bar is for this tank. You know, it's just poor, poor, poor Kravagen. Anyway, let's jump into the last game. Like I say in many of my videos, you do need an obliging enemy, and thankfully in this game we have an obliging enemy. But, you know, the Kranwagen is still a shadow of its former self. Now, I've already seen there are plenty of YouTubers out there more successful than me, crying that this thing needs to be buffed. And it does need to be looked at, but it's finding out where that buff needs to be. And as I said, I, I you know, I can live with its mobility issues if it's got some decent DPM. If you want to keep the DPM, then give it back its mobility. You know, it's it's that straightforward. Ideally, for a heavy tank in tier 10, it should have comparable DPM to the other heavies. Not to the point where it becomes obscene. I mean, keep if you want to. You know, just drop the reload times a little bit. I mean, we're not talking massive amounts here. Just tinker with them, I don't know, half a second here or there, maybe. Tinker with it just a little bit. Keep the traverse, keep the haul turn, keep the damage output as it is. Just increase that DPM ever, ever so slightly. Give this tank a chance. Now, if you don't want to do that, then give it back. Give, give it back its, its its traverse. Although I don't think that will aid it, because you know, if it's meant to be a heavy tank, you're meant to play it like a heavy tank. Now, because I'm no longer running calibrated shells, I'm having to use a lot more premium ammunition. But I don't mind that. I don't mind using premium ammunition, to be honest with you. If you know, if I can play the tank effectively. But I've had to use a lot more premium ammunition than I would normally do. I normally only play with APC, you know, with the standard ammunition. But this thing struggles now. And in order for me to get that reload time better and to get that, you know, that mobility a little bit better, I've had to use a ventilation system rather than calibrated shells. And so therefore I'm sacrificing that penetration quite significantly, to be fair. Which is why I now need to use a lot more heat. Thing is, I mean, don't get me wrong, I still like the tank, but I don't love it. I used to love it. I used to really adore this tank. I used to play it a lot. I even played it in tournaments. Now, wow, well, you know, I, I shudder at the thought of rolling out in this thing. And for me, it really is the worst tank in tier 10. And Wargaming really does need to give it a little bit of TLC. And maybe update 9.1 will do that. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been the poor, poor Kranwagen. A tank that used to be fantastic, and it is, well, just terrible nowadays. By all means, comment and everything below. Let me know your thoughts on this one. Let me know how you feel about the Kranwagen. I mean, it just goes to show how far it's fallen. Are you 3.3 then? Give a second class. I mean, this is this is tier 10. I should be That should be a third class for 3.3k damage, but hey, it is what it is. Anyway, guys, as I said, that's been my take on the Kranwagen. I'd, be, I'd love to hear your take on it, so let me know in the comments. And until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because at the end of the day, that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.